During this lesson, we're going to look at how we can create a times table quiz using a spreadsheet. Now, for the purpose of this course, I'm using Google Sheets. But equally, you could use Excel or Apple Numbers or any other spreadsheet, and it will do the same thing. So we're going to start by creating our spreadsheet, which I've done here for you. The first thing we're going to do is type in, in the first cell, A1 times table. In B1, we're going to put the times table that we want to work on. So let's say we're going to do the six times table. OK, now in A3, I'm going to leave a line. And in A3, I'm going to start typing the first part of our number line, so which is a 1. In row 4, I'm going to type in 2. That's the first part of our number line. Now, the first thing that you can do is you can select these and you can copy them down. So this is our copy down rule. So we're going to copy them down to line 14. So that gives us 12 different numbers. Now let's also align this into the middle. So we need to choose this button up here, and we're going to choose central alignment. We're just going to make things the same throughout our spreadsheet. OK, here we're going to put in our times. Now this is times, and equally what we can do is we can copy this down, and let's put this in the middle also. Now this is going to be the number of the times table that we're going to put down. So going through our number line, 1 times something, okay? So there's our number sentence, 1 times something, and then we're going to put equals. So let's put the equals in first. If we type equals, what that's now expecting is a formula. Now we don't want to put a formula into this particular cell. We want to put the sign equals. So to do that, what you need to do is type the quote key, single quote, then type equals. And that will put the actual character equals in that cell. And then we can copy these down. Let's put them in the middle. And now let's move over to this particular cell here, C3. Now, if we're saying our number sentence to children, it would be 1 times 6 equals. Now, what we don't want to do is type in 6 because that number already exists in our spreadsheet. So what we need to do is we type a formula. So to start a formula, as I mentioned earlier, we type equals. And then we choose the cell that we want to put in. So in this case, it's 6. So we're going to press return. And that puts the 6 in place. Now you'd think we'd now be able to copy these down. But then that's going to cause a problem. Now what that's doing is copying the relative cell down. So for example, here we can see this is B1, it's copying B1, which is B1, this number 6 here. This one is B2, so it's copying this cell here, which is blank. This is copying B3, which is an X. Now that is not something that we want to do. We do not want to copy the relative cells down. What we do want to do is copy the fixed cell. So in order to do that, we add, in the corner here, we add a dollar in front of the B that says we want to keep the column of B fixed, and we want the row of 1 to be fixed. So we put those in. And now what we can do, we can copy that down, and now it's going to keep the fixed cell point so we can copy all the 6s down. Now just to make sure that this is working, if we change that 6 to a 7, everything changes, 8, etc. So we'll keep it with the 8 times table. So now the only thing we need to do is actually centralise this. So let's centralise it into the middle, just to keep it all consistent. Now what we need to do is we need to now complete our number sentence. So we're doing 1 times 8 equals. So we want this to be a formula. We don't want the children typing these figures, because now when we type another number in here, all of this row changes, but this doesn't. OK, so what we need to do, we need to delete these and we need to put a formula in. So we start this with the equal sign. Now we talk through the number sentence. So what we want to do is we want to do 1. So this is what we're doing. 1 times. Now the times sign is an asterisk. So we need them to type the times sign, which is an asterisk. Then we do 1 times 9 equals, and the return button is equals, and that will give us 9. And then we can copy this down. 
and centralize it again. And now we can see we've got our nine times table. Let's put our 10 times table and there you can see everything is changing. That concludes this particular lesson. In the next lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to change this into a quiz. So this will allow your students to go home and practice their times tables using this spreadsheet that they have created.